told anybody. I am working on bringing everything up now so that I can share the link for anyone in my group. Uh, because I don't know why, but people don't get notifications when I go live. Which is a bit annoying. Um, but I can now see myself, which means I've got the link. And I'm now going to share it to the group and then we can actually get started. And I'm only saying all of this for people that watch it as a playback, otherwise I'd sit here being quiet and weird. Um... Okay, so hello, hello. So what I've got going on here is the last panel um, of the Inklings fabric, which I was going to keep for myself. I actually had somebody come over and they wanted to do a custom order and they've picked this. So they picked a pattern, which I no longer have. I did it once as a video and then I threw it out. So I've reprinted it. And I just thought I'd do a little, this is how I do patterns start to finish, because I've never done one. Hello, everybody popping in. Um, but yeah, so this is what, this is the fabric we're using. And I'm using Volcano Red, because it just matches really well. Whoa, I just got a whole lot of people. That's like 24 people, that's pretty cool. All right, so I have printed it at 100%. I just need to get my uh, paper cutting scissors and sticky tape. So I have my tray, which has my Lord of the Ring fabric. So that'll be my next bag I do. I need my paper cutting scissors and you'll need sticky tape. Which is a rare commodity in this house because my child is constantly stealing it. I also have my, if you don't have anything nice to say, shut the hell up shirt on. Yay! Okay. So I've printed it all. Um, I'm doing the Georgina convertible tote, except we're not making it convertible. Uh, so I do get to skip a few things there. So when you print the pattern, it has a cutting list. And then it has all little labels that you can stick on if you want to cut them up. But the main thing we have to do is the sticky taping. So I probably don't do it like normal people. Which is why I thought I'd show you. Oh, there's heaps of people from all over. That's awesome. All right, so this one joins to this one, but I'm not going to cut the whole thing out. I'm actually just going to cut just this one. Now, this is where I get a bit tricky. Now, I know a lot of you will probably cut both of these and then try and perfectly line them up. What I have found to be more helpful is leaving a lip on this one and then just lay this over the top. You can always cut off the excess, but I personally find it easier to just lay that there, hold it with one finger, and instead of trying to do a giant line of sticky tape, do a bunch of small lines until it's held in place. And then if you plan on using this pattern a lot, flip it over, grab a piece of tape and put it on the back join as well uh, because it makes it less floppy. Ta -da! Um, so this is a lot of rectangles but that's all right. So again M1 is going to go to M1 which is here and so again I'm going to leave the lip and then just line it up, hold it in place with two fingers, and then just grab whatever comfortable amount of sticky tape. Now the reason I say comfortable amount is because if you try and get too much, it bends around your finger, it doesn't work out. And then again, you grab another bit, stick it on the back join, and it stops it being so floppy and weird. Oh, so this one, this pattern's actually really clever. She's done it. Let me put my finger over the measurements. She's done it so both of them line up. So if I just cut all the way up along here for both pieces, they then line up on the next page. 
um, which does work out a little bit quicker. Right? And the reason I'm doing the rectangles is because I need all the placement pieces on said rectangles. Otherwise, I would just use this sheet with all the measurements and get a ruler and just cut them. Um, but I need the measurements. So like that. So if I don't put, see how it's a lot flimsier on the back where I didn't put the sticky tape? See that? That makes it easier to pull it apart, which again is why we put an extra bit of tape on the back. Like that. I also held that thought. I have a lot of stuff. This rotary cutter is actually strictly for paper now. So that when you're doing straight stuff, if, you, if you've got the opportunity and you have a spare one, or if your blade's nearly finished, it's a good time to cut the paper because it's quicker than using scissors, like way quicker. And you get a straighter edge. Probably get a smaller ruler though. Right? But that was way quicker than cutting and you can guarantee that your edges are straight. And I should have brought my bin over. I'm going to get my bin. Give me a second. Which is full by the way, but that's alright. It'll be fine. I love the rotary cutter thing. So I can just go up this edge because nothing else is going to stick to here. Get rid of that. Turf it all on the bin. I have a spare. When my fabric blade gets dull, I put it in my extra one. See, that's the spirit. It works great. Um, where are we? All right, so all the M's are joining over here. So this one has to join to here and this one to here. So what I would do and what we're going to do is you join these two and then join that to that. Don't try and do one, two, three and then slot the last one in because uh, that's not how, that's not the easiest way. I mean, you can do it that way, but it's not the easiest. <clears throat> I'm grabbing my two by 14 inch ruler because it's littler and therefore easier to maneuver. Um, so this is the Georgina bag for anybody that missed that, uh, which was the Pulp Fiction bag I did. Um, she came over, saw it, fell in love with it, but wanted this fabric. So that's now what I'm doing. Now this way is actually not the best way to do it. Your paper's got more of a chance to move if you do it like that. Even though I did it, usually it moves and I get flustered and then I throw out that bit of sticky tape because I wrecked it. So we have to cut this edge so that it will slip onto this one. I used to love this ergonomic one when I was cutting a lot of straight strips. I actually bought it for when I was making aprons to do all the apron straps. I have since discovered, since doing actual patterns, I prefer this one. So this is a 28 mil blade. I just, to go around templates, I have personally found I like this one because I can go all the way up, whereas this one's just good for long straight lines, which is why I like this one for paper. You don't need to have both, but since I have both, they now still serve a purpose, even though I don't like one of them. If you want to look at it like that. So there is no way that this would stay still while I was trying to sticky tape it. Oops. Right. Then again, if you want to flip it over, Put a big piece along that one. It just stops it being so floppy. Doo -doo -doo. 
And now you can cut this whole piece out. Hello, Amanda. Are you not at work? You have it as much. I'm just showing you how I put patterns together. But yeah, rotary cutters and rulers for rectangles is the best. I mean, personally, I actually just prefer acrylic templates, which is why all my patterns come in them. And yes, I own a copy of all of them. Um, even the ones I don't make a lot, I still just, I like them. I'm now used to them. Um, if I could, I'd make everybody's patterns come in acrylic templates, but that's a lot of permissions and stuff I have to go get, which is why I haven't bothered. Right. What else have we got going on? I'll leave that page for a minute. We'll do this one. Ooh, Norway as well. Oh, that's so cool. I love that I have so many people. What is going on here? All right, I'm joining that to there. I got confused for a second. I really like the, I like the base shape that comes with these. I use it a lot. I try to switch it up all the time, um, but I do use this base shape a lot because I like to sew it. <laughs> got no sharp corners and I don't know I just like it it's my thing now while we're here I might as well chop that edge off because we're all about to have another two this pattern does have a lot of pieces won't lie pretty sure it was a big um, video when I did it but it's fine Piece F, that was on another thing. So here's piece F here. I don't need those two stuck. And the backpack connector I won't be doing, so I can just get rid of that piece because it's one less piece in my space. So we trim one edge with the rotary cutter, and then we can just sit it on top of the other one. Now this is actually, I'm making sure there's no measurements. This is actually too much paper for me. I would come and trim it down to about half that. You don't need that much behind. Um, and if you're going to use this a lot, here's something I want to do, and I'm going to do a video on it. I'm going to take somebody else's pattern, so I need to get permission from someone, but I'm going to take somebody else's pattern and use the laser cutter to cut out MDF templates. Um, my workspace is not really big enough for, like, I can't make my own templates on my laser, A, because it's not as powerful as it needs to be, and B, it's not like a huge table size one. Oh, I just got a little bit overexcited with the sticky tape. You just fold it over, by the way. Don't be too stressed about it. And then, even though this has got curves, because I like efficiency slash I'm lazy, I'm still going to rotary cut most of it. And then I'll just use the scissors to do the corners. I know that probably seems lazy to you, but I'm cool with it. We all know I'm a little bit lazy. So that bit's for another bit. We've got to keep that. I just find this quicker. All right, so that's all the straight edges. And then you just come in and just cut the curve. Quicker, and you've got a straighter edge than if you were to use scissors. Do I still laminate? I would laminate them if I plan on making a lot of this bag. Um, I've already made this bag. This was from Deja Designs. I did already make her bag as a thing. I used to keep all of the patterns as I cut them out. But if you're not new to my channel, you can see that I've got like literally like 130 videos I think I'm up to. Um, so to keep that many patterns stored, it just became too much, 
especially in my tiny little current studio situation. So if I was going to make a bunch of these, I would 100% laminate them. If I planned on making more than 20, I would go and seek out acrylic templates because it's just easier. Um, but because to just today I'm just making this one, I will not be laminating it. Because the time and money it puts into just a one-off, not really worth it. But that's just how I would work that out. And I also like to um, buy my own templates for when I'm cutting out for videos and stuff. Because then I know they're very, very accurate. The thing I like about this pattern is most of these pieces, you grab one and the next one, and they all um, kind of line up. I like that. So this pocket is going to be the Tassie Devil. Scissors are just for curves because it really is a lot quicker. And if you don't believe me, I challenge you all to go and try it. Ouch! My gosh! That was disgusting and I just took a chunk of skin off my finger. Ouch, ouch, ouch. God damn. Ow. Alright, I will be back. I need a band-aid. That is a lot of blood. Please don't look if you don't like blood. Hold that thought. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. God damn, that hurts a lot. Ow, ow, ow. I'm surprised I'm not swearing. Ow, 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 ow. Ah! Anyway, moving on. That was a big chunk of skin, people. Like, a big chunk. Um... <sighs> Ow. That's all I really have to say about that. <sighs> I can deal with the throbbing. Throbbing will be fine. You know what happened? I wasn't watching what I was doing. Took my eye off the ball. Baby wipes solve everything. <sighs> God damn, that hurts. Well, I won't be doing that again, will I? <sighs> Do you know that's the first time? Six years I've been sewing. That's the first time I've taken a chunk out of my finger. My gosh, that hurts so much. Not quitting alive though. I'm gonna battle through it. It'll be fine. <sighs> Don't ever not watch your rotary cutter is the conclusion that I'm coming to right now. Cause oh my God, does it hurt. That is a very deep chunk of skin missing forever from my finger. I don't think I'll be sewing today, people. We'll get as far as this and then I will be done. Because it hurts a lot. But nothing will defeat me. I really do have that mentality. Nothing will defeat me, but my God, is it killing me. <sighs> right, so. This is smaller than the Tassie Devil. So I really want to make sure I get his head in the flower. <sighs> I don't know where my uh, my Panadol is right now and I'm not going to make you all wait on a live to find it. I'll do it and then I'll go find it. Then I have to pack orders, actually. A lot of you guys ordered stuff yesterday. <sighs> 
Right. Tassie Devil, and I want to make sure he's not in my seam allowance. So I'm just going to hold it in place and flick up the edges to make sure I'm happy. <gasps> yeah, nah, it hurts a lot, people. I'm going to use my fabulous gift. They're like green jewels that you use as paperweights. Are they not adorable? And then I also have my giant um, nuts. Bolts? Nuts. Yeah, nuts. I always get nuts and bolts confused. I don't know why. Um, so these were like 69 cents each and I have 12 of them. They are fabulous pattern weights. They are ugly and I mean I could make them pretty but I won't because I just won't. If you're a painter, though, you could buy these and decorate them for sewing people. That would be cool. <sighs> it's just throbbing so much. Well, that'll learn me. The nuts really are the best. They are amazing. You'll notice I'm doing a lot slower with my rotary cutter now. And that top curve I'm going to draw on with uh, erasable ink. Maybe. Oh, I could fill them with resin and glitter. I love glitter. Females are nuts and males are bolts. Oh, there we go. That's clever. You know, it's really hard to tell what's going to sell and what doesn't. One day, I'll go weeks without selling something and then somebody will come along and buy 10 of something. So I just, I try to keep stuff in stock all the time, but it's really hard to judge what colors are going to go like orange for example orange is the best example i can use i have had orange sitting in my cupboard for three months and then all of a sudden four people on the same day all bought orange waterproof canvas and then i was out you just can't you can't guess it Finger. At least it's not bleeding out the end. That excites me. I must have put enough pressure, so that's good. Now, if you make a lot of, like, little zipper pouches, you can use all of this excess for zipper pouches. So, for example, this would be great on the Devon pouch. Um, I plan on making... Actually... Actually... Oh, not quite. I was going to say you you could potentially use it on Scamp, but I don't think it's quite enough because I'm all about um, reusing, but that one's probably just a little bit too little. Oh my God, my bin's just got blood spatters through it. <gasps> Looks like a horror movie. I'm really not exaggerating, hey? God, my finger hurts so much. I also, uh, because I have, where are they? Where are they? Oh, there they are. Right. So because I have Tory Pocket zipper overlays, which, by the way, I'm going to get um, the mini Tory Pocket that comes in Scamp. I'm going to have it as a set that comes with all of the version the copies of these and the mini one but because i have this when people have it in their pattern i just ignore that do a tory pocket and use these <sighs> super glue is the same stuff they use in hospitals i think i've got e6000 
I do have E6000 glue. I love that glue. It's my favorite super glue in the universe. Second only, Araldite's my second favorite. Raise it above. Okay, I can't work one handed in a video. We're not doing that. I might do it after. I can't do it now. Don't be outrageous. It will be all right. I will survive. I'm going to cut that bit off though, because like I said, we don't use that bit. Oh, this bit. <sighs> How about I put it above my head uh, when I don't need to use my hand? Feels like a fair compromise. <sighs> Such a big chunk. didn't go all the way in that would have required a hospital visit and I don't want to do that and I already cut this bit so yes I understand that would work above my heart sounds like a great idea but okay my hand's now above my head. How do I sticky tape the pattern together? Do I get out of doing dishes? Um, it is a nasty cut. I took a couple of mil off my finger. There's like a big divot. And hubby just went away today for work overnight. So luckily we have a dishwasher. Um, and anything that I can't put in the dishwasher won't be getting washed is how that goes. That'll be out when hubby gets home problem. See how my bit of sticky tape's too big? Then it moves, then you can't line it up, then it's like a whole mission. You can do it, it's just annoying. this one and that way my hand can be held up use my elbow we can compromise nothing defeats me that is my mentality and I'm sticking to it also always cut into your corners don't try and turn the scissors in the corner you'll mash your corner dishes are overrated anyway that's why we have a dishwasher there's not many things that won't go in the dishwasher, let's be honest. Like, I put pots and pans in the dishwasher. The only thing I don't put in the dishwasher is the air fryer bucket. But I probably could, I just haven't as yet. I just clean it. Because to clean the air fryer, you just put hot water and dish soap in it, and then turn it on, and it cleans itself. Very cool. Oh. Okay, the throbbing has just set in for anyone that was wondering. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. <sighs> Here's the thing. The few times I've nearly got my finger, I've actually always hit my fake nails instead. I usually hit my fake nails. It's just one more reason to get them. Like when I've nearly, I've never actually sewed my finger. Touch wood. Um, and any time I nearly have, it rebounds off my fake nails. It's just one more reason to have fake nails while sewing. That and they, because I get them so pointy, they are excellent like sewing awls. Yeah, so to clean your air fryer, you put in water, bit of dish soap, and then turn it on for 10 minutes, and the heat and everything, um, my band-aid's too tight. Damn it. I don't want to take it off. It'll start gushing. In a minute. But yeah, useless tip that's not at all sewing related. You're welcome. God, it hurts. 
Oh, that hurts. Just snip part of it, alleviate some of the, the tightness. There we go. Crisis averted. Oh my god, my air fryer is the best thing I ever bought. You can cook pork chops, you can cook schnitzels, it does chips. It's clean, you don't have to have a big tub of oil hanging around your house. Love my air fryer. Love it! And because, like, when you cook in a pan, I know this is not at all what we're meant to be talking about, but let's get sidetracked with the cooking thing. I am not a foodie in any sense of the word. I will eat pretty much what's in front of me. I don't get into gourmet anything. I don't really enjoy cooking. It's a necessity because you have to eat. Um, and when you're cooking in a frying pan, you have to like hover around it, right? And make sure that things don't catch on fire and stick to the pan and all the rest of it. With an air fryer, you put the stuff in the basket, you turn it on, you push it in, and you walk away until it dings. Like, love it. And it's healthier than the other way. You should invest in lidocaine ointment. Do they even have that in Australia? I hope so. I'll go buy some after this. That's part of K. What's K? Oh, here's K. Hi, K. Oh. I don't know what lidocaine ointment is, but it sounds exciting. I like the word. See, one more reason why I don't like this rotary cutter as much. It bit me. So rude. Xylocaine. Sounds like xylophone. Love it. Is the box rainbow colours? Because that would just make my day. Right, guys don't stress too much hurts like a mofo but I'll get over it like I get over everything else oh that's the zipper pocket I'm not even using that didn't need to stick that together we use Tory pockets You know what songs just got stuck in my head? Duke Nukem. I don't know if anyone's here played like old school video computer game things. Duke Nukem was one of my favourites. And all just randomly his theme song pops in my head. I know I seem crazy. I probably am. See, you just do the corners. How much quicker was that? That is base stabilizer. That's why it's a smaller version of the other one. Um, if you wanted to, um, you could cut this one and then just cut down to that line instead of printing both, depending on, you know, whatever you want to do. <laughs> The thing I like the most about these bags are these very cool handles. Sometimes I just get bored doing rectangle handles. I really do. Uh, my new pattern I'm doing with all that fringing that I've been like teasing you with, um, the pattern's just going to have like a random extra bit on the shoulder strap. I've already decided. It's going to be fabulous. See, Jute Newcomb, come get some. I don't know. It's in my head. I'm just crazy. Whatever. It's 
like my own theme song, except it's not my theme song, it's Duke Nukem's theme song. And it seems to always happen when I'm cutting patterns. Now that I think about it, when I cut patterns, that's the theme song that's always in my head while I do it. There's a um, forest on my way to drive into my dad's place called the Wombat Forest. And in primary school, I used to play the flute and there, we played a song called the Wombat Shuffle. And every time, without fail, the second I get to the Wombat Forest, my brain plays Wombat Shuffle in my head over and over and over for like the whole 20 minutes you drive through it. Oh, I do need a theme song. That would be cool. Not clever enough to write one, but that would be cool. So these straps are like these cool triangle things, and then you fold the edges into the centre line so that there's no um, raw bits, and then you just stitch them down, and they end up looking like this. How cool are they? So this is a bag I'm cutting out, by the way. <sighs> yeah, it can't be more the brightness song, Mum. I'm too busy. Let's not add more work to my already extremely busy life. Besides, I don't know what my theme song should sound like. I think it should sound like Duke Nukem a little bit, to be honest, because that's the sort of theme song that is constantly stuck in my head. can write it with my fingers feeling sure no after this video I will clear off this bench and I've got to pack everyone's orders there's a bunch of um vinyl I have to cut actually I promise I will not get blood on your vinyl super promise all right what do we got over here top zipper band side we need that one I love Wombat Forest. It would have to be my favourite forest. Never seen a wombat in it though, if I'm being totally honest. I know they live there. They've got wombat crossing signs everywhere, but I've never seen one in the Wombat Forest. Do you know, the whole not open your zip before you turn your bag through is actually not that big of a deal. I think I did it in my last video. It doesn't matter if you don't open it. I know a lot of people freak out because you've got nothing to grab onto, but if you just put your finger in front of the zip, it will move out of your way. And then you just go with your finger and it opens. So don't freak out too much if you accidentally left your zip shut. And if it's being really stubborn, get a sew wall, put it in front of it, and then use that like a zipper pull. What are these bits? What's N? Way too many bits going on at the moment. Interior slip pocket trim. Oh, I want that one. That one will look pretty. I forget to open it all the time. It's actually not that big a deal. Um, I found ways around it. And so now, unless I'm recording a video, sometimes it's a muscle memory thing and sometimes I forget and it's fine. Oh, has anyone here made a scamp yet? anymore it's just constant Bleh. yes that's a word needle down and pivot don't forget to trim your tails <gasps> 
All right, who does music production? Let's write a song. This would be so cool. Oh, I wonder what Billy 50 can do this stuff. I wonder how she's feeling lately. We should totally write a song. It'd be so cool. Take all of my crazy sayings. And then the end bit has to end with whatever makes you happy. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm just warning you now. When I move house, I will, in my sewing space, I am going to set up my camera plugged into a wall and I will do like a time-lapse video of setting up my new space i've already decided on this also i am going to start making things now for my future house uh because i have decided i am going to put up curtains randomly halfway through one of the big really big lounge rooms in the main house and turn it into a theater space and the house just so happens to have like a bar built into the corner I'm going to turn it into like a cinema old school concession stand. I've already decided. I've been looking it up all night. It's why it's on my brain. Uh, Crossbody connector. No, I do need. Do I need that? Yes. Whisper at the beginning. Yeah. I figure you, hear, you heard enough of my voice through the rest of it. So I thought I'd whisper because I thought it was extra funny to do the whisper. We all know I'm crazy. I feel like we need to make peace with it by now. I don't need that bit. A dance the Tory squish. Violence! <laughs> oh, that could be a dance move. There you go, the Tory squish. I can play this game all day. Another bit done. Now normally, okay, so I'm doing this a little bit different to what I normally would because I've got my laptop in the way. Normally what I do is I put all things that require vinyl in a pile and then all exterior in a pile and then all ones that are just lining in their own pile. So I'll cut the exterior first and then if the pattern piece needs lining, it goes from this pile into that one once I've cut it usually how I operate. The song Peppermint Twist comes to mind. <laughs> I'd have to have an original song because otherwise I'll just get told for ripping off other people's. If I meet someone that's a videographer, right, I promise this will happen. But until then, I don't see me doing it anytime soon because I will require help. So unless anyone here is volunteering to help me write a song and then we'll do some ridiculous, ridiculous, over-the-top video clip. I promise. But I need help with all of this. That is my deal. All right, we've got to join these two together now. Because this is the bigger one, this is where I'm going to chop it off. Make it like a pop song. We should make a pop song about sewing. <laughs> That'd be so cool. It's something I would do, but again, I require assistance. I came late. What's the name of the bag we're cutting out? We are cutting out the Georgina, which I have already made in the past, but um, somebody has come and ordered the last of my Australian animals, which also I think today's the last day you can um, pre-order it, guys. So if you love these panels, today's the day to go get it. Um, and if you're watching this later, sorry you missed it because this was a live. Don't get mad at me. 
I love these panels. Uh, so I sold all of them. So for those that make things to sell, these have so far, by far, been the most popular panels I have used to date. You say that, actually, Karen, lots of people from the States do orders for the waterproof canvas. I send a lot of it to the US all over the place. Um, so these are the child size panels. So you pick child panel in canvas is what I use uh, because you can see I cut this a while ago and I keep picking it up, putting it down. See how it doesn't fray like the crappy spotlight ones? Spotlight canvas, I find the weave isn't tight enough and it falls apart easy. This stuff is amazing. I like it more than quilting cotton for bags. This particular brand. It's fabulous. So see how that bends there? Makes it more tricky when we're trying to do stuff with it. Do you offer flat rate shipping? I don't. It's all weight based. The webs my website actually calculates it according to what Australia Post charges. So I don't put extra charges on for the stuff I pack it in. So whether it's a box or a bag or whatever, I just cop that cost. The, the packing rates or the shipping rates are exactly what Australia Post charge me. So unfortunately, it is what it is and I can't change it. Um, but maybe if a few of you in America wanted to get together and then you could split the postage cost, that would work out for everyone. Um, but I do send a lot of it over to the US. And New Zealand. They are the top two places I send stuff to. I have sent stuff other places, just those are the most frequent. Okay. So, that's everything cut. Oh, I just need to give my hand a break. So, the, the postage to America is the same amount no matter which part of America you're in. I can tell you that. It's not like different if it goes from one state to another. It is... Oh, yeah, my finger's killing me. It's throbbing so bad. <sighs> but, yeah, so the, the postage rate, it is what it is. I Unfortunately, I can't really change it. I could do a flat rate shipping for things like I do with the acrylic templates. Um, but they're more about size than weight because they don't weigh very much. Um, and I just cop the loss of the difference between international and express, express within Australia. It's only a couple of dollars difference, so I just decided to make it the same. Um, yeah. I wish postage was cheaper. I wish postage actually arrived when they said it would. Yeah, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think where the Panadol is. It's just throbbing. I know how you feel. I felt one mowing the lawn and hurt my wrist. Ow. I don't do lawns. That is Hubby's job. Since I'm stuck cleaning everything, he can fix the outside. I'll be back in a sec. I'm going to go find my handbag. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Right. By the way, holding up wonderfully, just if anybody cares, and still glows in the dark. This was also from Inklings and the Kraken. I believe she is getting more. I made a three-piece set because I'm ridiculous. Um, and I love my wench wallet. Lots of people have been asking for a pattern similar to that, uh, but they want ID windows. Now, you could easily put ID windows in that. any cool shirt you guys want me to make i have so much htv sitting here it's outrageous oh you can put htv on plywood and then make earrings i don't know if i've done the video yet i can't remember 
uh, but not sticker. I tried doing it with the sticker stuff and it comes off in weird weather. But yeah, so you can put HTV onto the wood. I use my heat press and then I go out and I laser earrings and then it's got the design. So I actually went and bought more HTV um, with some cool stuff. Anyway, moving on. We might not be able to do too much more. My my hand, my fingers are killing me. It really hurts. Um, I cut it. I took a chunk out with the rotary cutter on a live video because, you know, that's just who I am. So I'm now missing a chunk on my finger um, and it bled everywhere and I had to clean it up. Baby wipes to the rescue. Not why I have a pack of baby wipes. I was going to design a baby wipe carrier. I still am, but just I've been using the baby wipes, so it's no longer at full thickness. So I will have to eventually buy another one. Oh yeah, it's throbbing. It hurts so much, but whatever. I will survive. So, first problem. Oh, it just makes it. This is how I work out if I've got enough fabric. I put it at the edge here, fold it over, we just have enough. Yay! I know I'm usually careful. I stopped looking at the rotary cutter and looked at something else for like a split second and then it went and took a chunk. It hurts. So much. I do ship to Germany. I ship everywhere. I ship all over the world. It should be set up to Germany already. I've also set it up for Norway and Sweden. If you want me to ship it to you and I haven't, and the website says no, let me know and I'll go over and see if I can fix it. I just have to add your area. I just add them as people want them because it's going to take me a very long time to do the whole world if most of those places won't ever buy from me. But if you want to buy from me and it says no, just send me a message or an email and I will make it do it. Oh, it sucks. We won't be doing too much more because my finger's just really, really sore and I really feel the need to swear. <laughs> makes me feel better to yell swear words. I don't care how bogan that makes me. I'm okay with it because it makes me feel better. One panel. Ta-da! gonna be so cute and then this on there like that and then the dark red so, uh, YouTube doesn't like it when I swear puts all weird restrictions and stuff on my videos that's why I try not to do it <laughs> Shiitake mushrooms is my favourite non-swearing swear word. I do say that a lot. Made with love and lots of swearing. And a little bit of blood. Because that's true. I want to start doing custom labels. Um, I bought, I actually bought blank logo tags to try and laser engrave on them. Unfortunately... You need something called a fiber laser, which are a lot of money. I looked one up, they're about $4,000, uh, and I don't have $4,000. But one day, if I ever have $4,000, I'm going to buy a fiber laser so that we can do awesome custom bag tags. But I can do leather ones, so I'm going to probably do that for now. There's a saying that says this is official because there was blood involved. Oh, I like that. In like a gross way. That's very cool. All right, exterior cut, panel cut. So pretty. She wants this as the lining, but I'm pretty sure I don't have enough, and I'm pretty sure there's no more in my cupboard. So we're going to compromise and do this one because it's it's close enough, and it'll still look really cute. And she honestly wasn't um, super fussed on the lining either. Oh. 
Right. So that's those bits done. I decided you needed a GoFundMe page to get a fiber laser, and then I'll just give away lots and lots of bag tags. I could do that. Whose website's got cool labels? Oh, Lauren. Yeah, you can share that. People in the States go nuts. I'm not... I'm pretty chill about most things. If you want to share that another person has something cool, I have no objections. None. I am a sharer. That's my thing. Does not make me enough money because I just give everything away for free. It's fine. You can share other people's cool stuff that's going on. Alright, do I need to cut anything or is that just exterior and foam? That one needs foam, this one needs a lining. Like, part of me thinks. You can do like a subscription thing on YouTube. I've been looking this up lately and I'm like, why would I, why would people, why would you guys buy a subscription when I already do videos? And then I'm like, what could I do that's unique? I can potentially do how to create your own patterns and how to alter patterns. So if you're like an intermediate sewer, you're like slightly better than beginner and you want to start changing things, I could do videos on how to do that. But then part of my brain's like, but I want everyone to know that. And this is where I kind of just, you know, spiral a little bit. Videos take me a very long time and I actually don't make very much money from them, despite what you all may think. Um, you know, I could do, I could do 15 videos in a month. That's what four or five a week and I don't even make three hundred dollars in the month like it's not it's not a money making machine like some people think and I mean some people's YouTube channels probably do make them lots of money but not me I love my trollop bag that one was just I don't know I think I, I think it was too small for a lot of people Mr. Mark was not very popular but I really liked it I should really iron this. I'm ironing it with my fingers, just if you're wondering. There's like a kink in it right there. So I'm going to iron it out. This is how I don't iron things when I'm meant to. Pattern weights are your friends. I've been trying to think of what I should ask you. Actually, while we're live, let me ask you. What, if you were to subscribe and pay money for a YouTube channel from me, what is it that you would want? As you, the people. That trollop. So the trollop in the, the echidna trollop sold before I even put it on my website. I got a message about the person who wanted to buy it. Didn't even make it to the website and it had already sold. I love trollop. I thought it would be a popular pattern. I understand that some of my patterns are very, very specific and therefore less popular. Like I see that. Like Driggle Draggle. Driggle Draggle, I personally think, will take it, have an uptake right before Christmas because if you buy people, like, nice lotions and, like, face products or makeup, it's a really cute way to package it. So I do potentially see an uptake in the pattern closer to Christmas because it's quick and it's pretty. Um, but I understand it's not just an everyday pattern that people want. No, I wouldn't charge much. It'd be like, I don't know, five bucks a month. Aw, thank you. 
she loses things in her trollop. Is that because she puts it in the wrong pocket and forgets? Because I'm like, it's not, it's it's quite a small bag. I tried to do a small, like a mini messenger was the the general idea with lots of pockets so that you could stay organised. You must wear fabulous clothes. What? I also ramble a lot. I'm very aware I get sidetracked, guys. That's literally how my brain works. Like right now, while I'm doing this and talking to you, my brain is like, all right videos for the YouTube channel, what should I do? And then my brain's like, oh, and I have to write the pattern for the workshop. So the fringe bag that I've been working on, I've decided we're going to do at the workshop. Um, and then everybody coming to the workshop will get a tassel template so that you can cut them. And it's very, very cool. My brain doesn't stop. Like last night, I was like, okay, I have a laser cutter. What things do I want on the wall in the popcorn, like, section? Brain doesn't stop, which is good and bad. It's never stopped, so it's not really something I'm, like, not used to. It's just how it operates. All right, what do we got? This I actually originally bought. I was going to make myself a really cute shirt. Um, but then it reminded me of Sam's shirt from Supernatural, and then I started using it as linings for Supernatural bags, and now I don't have enough to make a shirt anymore. You're meant to get up and sew. The whole point of my videos was to be, like, inspirational, so that you want to go and make what I've made, and I try to break it down in a way that goes, oh, I can make that. You may have to slow it down because I rush everything. But as a general way, like, you could hit pause and do that bit. And then you just unpause it and continue. Yeah, Canada's probably a little bit far. What's brown noise? Is that like white noise? Do we just call them different colours? Because I'd like to call it green noise. <laughs> oh, put my hand up. Oh. You should make all the things. Some bag patterns are definitely more intermediate to experience, um, but a lot of them are quite beginner friendly. I'm currently working on making my patterns more simplistic and then I'm going to start doing hack videos. So this is what I've recently decided. So the, the fringed bag is actually going to be just a very simple bag with a magnetic closure. But then I'm going to do add-on hack things to make it more complex and, you know, different. So this is the latest thing that my brain has decided to do so that people that have just come into bag making can still make something fabulous and feel like they've achieved wonderful things. And then for those of you who are intermediate, you don't have to, but you may want to buy the add-on section. So like the current bag I'm doing doesn't have a gusset. It's just a front and a back with all this fancy stuff. Um, and I'm going to do an add-on hack so that you can make it with a gusset so that the bag will be bigger. But it won't come like that so you don't feel pressured to have to do it like that. Because like... The hussy, where it was like, design your own. These are just all the parts and you pick what you put in it. I like that because then you can pick how simple or complicated things become. I'm going to throw that bit out. I'm going to put my hand up again. And that's what should be in the subscription. Ha! Well, there you go. I'm hacking Swoon's Mabel tomorrow because you gave me the confidence. Yay! Itchy boy. The hack for the pelican tote was how I found you. What did I do for that? I have no idea what I hacked. I just, my brain just makes it up. What did I hack in the pelican tote? Oh, wait, was that the research zipper? Is that what I did? 
Probably. That would be my guess. Oh, we're just going to stand here like this. Panadol didn't help, by the way. Anyone that was tracking that, that's been a while ago now. But like, so I know that there's always lots and lots of patterns and I don't know if you've noticed, but I can't keep up with all the videos. Lots of people contacting me asked to do videos and I would love to get them all done. Uh, but basically I need a magical elf that will stand here and cut everything out because I don't have enough time to do everything ever. Um, but I do try. So I try and do the new releases for Aura Rosa. Yeah, I don't know when Eurofin is. I don't think there's any left, actually. I'll have to go down the street. Um, but I try and do Aura Rosa, KM Designs, Needle and Anchor. Um, who else do I always try and stay on top of? And then, like, so, so if new people come out. Oh, I chopped a big chunk out of my finger with the rotary cutter at the start of this live. And it bled everywhere. And it's got band-aids on it now, but now it's throbbing and it hurts. So I took Panadol, um, and it's not taken the pain away. It is what it is. So I have to stop. That's all I'm going to cut out, guys. I will do the rest later when my finger's better. Um, but it was mainly to show the last panel because um, it's fabulous and it's the last day to buy them. So I thought I'd do a live on how to cut out patterns, which was the first half, and then I was going to actually cut out the whole pattern, but my finger's too sore. So we've stopped and we're chatting instead, which is fine. I love a good chat. That's why we do lives. But yeah, so like, for example, my Coddy Womple backpack, somebody pointed out to me that it would make a very cool backpack. So I plan on, I actually did contemplate using this fabric to do a hack to turn Coddy Womple into a baby bag backpack. So that's coming. That's on my list of things to do, um, but I have to cut it out and stuff. Because some people don't want a giant bag. They want like a smaller and they want more of a backpack. So Coddy Wumple is perfect. And then I've, I've started thinking of all the hacks I could do. For example, be able to access the baby wipes from the outside with a flap, which is why I bought baby wipes. Um, so that's something that is going to happen. I'm going to hack my own patterns. The trollop I recently did, I'm pretty sure I took out like half the zippers because you don't have to have seven zippers in a tiny bag you can have a lot less also with trollop anyone that's purchased trollop the part for the card slots can literally be taken from that pattern and put onto any bag just so that you all know because it's like a, a completely kind of separate part you can actually put that inside any bag you can think of set up the subscription yeah i'll get to it i promise i will get to it i'm also gonna do so if i'm gonna do a subscription about doing patterns and hacks i will also do the recording of inkscape on my screen now that i know how to do that that's pretty cool um Because my brain's kind of got infinite knowledge that I am still yet to tell you all. It's just a time thing. Like right now, I've just killed my day. It's going to take me multiple hours to now cut out and pack all the orders because my finger's going to slow me down. I know it's my own fault, but it doesn't change the fact that it's throbbing and annoying. Oh. And I got such pretty nails. I went with yellow this time around, and now you can't even see it. Disappointing. <sighs> I do need an assistant, and if I made enough money, I would pay for one. If I made enough money um, from videos, I would get like a 15 year old to come in and cut things and iron them for me. It would be fabulous. A cut glove. Yes, I probably do. No, it's all right, mum. By the time you got here, half the day is gone. 
Although you could come get all the plants from the, the window. I have all these um house plants and apparently they love my house. They're all growing out of control. <laughs> oh. These are so cool. I love these so much. And they're green. Cutest pattern weights ever. It's all good, Mum. I'll be right. I'll get there. I will get there. Maybe I'll go set up the laser engraver. It only requires one hand for that. What's OI? Am I considering OI? I don't know what that is. I can't believe another year has almost gone. I know. I am moving very, very soon. I am going to have so much space. So I've already decided that one of the bedrooms is going to be a packing room. So I'm going to have a packing table and all the boxes will just like have a home so I can just grab at them and it's going to be fabulous. And then all of the hardware will sit along a wall in that bedroom. Uh, and then all of my machines are going to be lined up down the center of the room in like the, the lounge room section so that my wheelie chair can just wheel back and forth as needed and that there's enough room on the other side to record easily. I could do one-on-one -on -one sessions. If you guys want one-on-one -on -one sessions with me, I could definitely do a one-on-one -on -one session and then you can ask all your questions and I can teach you how to do stuff. For sure. Yeah, well, so in eight, eight weeks is the retreat. Um... And I will be packing up, I will be stopping videos for December. I might do some Q&As in December, some live Q&As, uh, sitting amongst my half-packed trash bedroom, or uh, sewing room, because we move in December. So there will be no sewing tutorial videos in December, but I might go through, I'll do a thing about really cool patterns that are quick and simple that you could make for awesome last-minute Christmas presents. Um, and I will do Q and A's. Um, so that will be de December's videos because I won't be here to do other things. It'll all be packed. I am moving during summer. Um, so I am a little bit lucky though. I don't have to pack my whole house. Uh, the movers do it. So all I have to actually do is pack all my clothes and Jessie's clothes and stuff. And I'll have to pack things that we need for the, the couple of weeks we won't have our stuff. But I will be packing up most of the sewing room because I don't want other people to do it. Um, so like this wall of hardware behind me, all of these individual boxes I'm going to put into um, like Ziploc bags because it can't just be wrapped up like that. So I'm going to have to zip lock bag stuff. So I'm thinking I might do it like, so the whole row of all six colors of each individual item, which is a lot, by the way. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, eight. So there's 19 rows in this one here, plus all the other ones. Um, so Ziploc bags are going to be my friend and then the hardest bit will be unpacking at the other end, uh, but it, that'll be fine. I'll get it done. It'll be fabulous. Have it all organized and pretty. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't have to pack most of it. Um, they won't move it with all the hardware in it. I already know that. Like they don't move anything until they empty all the drawers. Nothing's allowed to have anything in it. Everything has to be in boxes. So, <coughs> like all my fabric, I will want to box that to make sure it doesn't get damaged. Um, I will be going and buying Ziploc bags in bulk, like really big ones. So you will only, if you need stuff for your holiday sewing, or if you are sewing for Christmas stuff, I do suggest you order it no later than November because then I will just shut down my... I won't shut down my website for those that still want to buy patterns, 
but there will be a very clear notice at the top saying that I am not posting until January. And it'll, it'll say mid-January, but it will be, I don't know exactly what date our stuff arrives. They usually take about two weeks, sometimes four. So it will just depend on when I can get all my stuff. And my house will be set up before the sewing house. And then I'm going to put my giant seams legit sign in the window because I think that's really cool. But yeah, so that is the plan. It's going to be so cool. It's just going to take me a while. And I've got mates up there that will probably come and help me do it too. So that'll be super handy. These were a gift from one of you. Um, I don't know where she got them from. I think it was a... Um, like a two dollar shop i think but they're fabulous they're just glass they're colored glass but they're so cute and they sparkle and they're much cuter than these let's be honest these were just practical because i live where there's no wire um you can probably find them online i am moving to somewhere called alligator creek and that's really pretty Um, and then I will ret run retreats from the space because it's got like a toilet and a kitchen and enough space to house people. So I'll just get some like decent tables and some machines and off I go. And then I will have retreats in my house in the space and I will just order something catered for food so I don't have to think about it. But yes. Oh. All right, I'm going to get off this live now since I've stopped actually cutting what I wanted. Um, but, yeah, I hope that was somewhat helpful. And don't do what I did and cut your finger off. Gosh. Uh, I probably won't record this bag because um, I might try and sew little bits of it today if my finger will allow it. And if not, oh, well, she's not in a hurry. So we're buying a house at the end of the year. So we're buying a house that has a house and a granny flat. So the granny flat is about to become Seems Legit. So Seems Legit is moving into a much bigger house. And the actual house is probably the same size as this one. Um, so yes, more space, which means I'll be able to stock more things because I'll have more space to store it all. So yeah, Seems Legit will progressively get bigger and I'll be ordering more and more hardware and all the cool things that I've wanted because I'll be able to store it in places, which would be fantastic. So exciting. Um, and then so some of the little things, I also, because I'll have room, I may also start getting like some of these sets um, so that you can just put them in with your orders. And they'll be cheaper as an add-on because I can add them in and stuff like that. But there's currently no room in here. Yes, I can hang, I can paint the walls so that they're not cream. I'm so excited about that. <coughs> cream walls are boring. And I'm going to paint the front door of the granny flat green <coughs> because I can and nobody's going to stop me. I'm very, very, very excited about all of this. But anyway, so that's the end of the year. Until then, I will still be... So I've got something new coming soon. I don't know when it's going to arrive. We'll see. Um, but I'm getting... They're like screw-in things, and they've got a big loop so you can hold your sunglasses and add it to, like, any bag. So I'll be doing a video on that. Not army green. No, no, no. Seems legit green. I'm going to paint it bright freaking grass green. The whole do front door of the granny flat will be bright green because I'm ridiculous. But it's fine. <sighs> plans. Lots of plans. Um, and I will be videoing a lot of these do-it-yourself things because you never know when you might want to paint something. Like the sewing machine thing. You should all paint your sewing machine pretty colours. 
it's so much fun to sit down at your favorite color and sew it really is and car paint is your friend because it's sparkly and metallic and fabulous and not that expensive for touch shop paint. Anyway, all right, guys, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go print off all the orders and then clear up all my mess and start packing them. I should get them all out today. I don't have to get to my post office till four. So long as I get there before four, everybody will get their stuff. Um, so yeah, bear with me on that. I will try and get everyone's orders out today. I do apologize if I don't, but it'll be my fingers fault because it's really sore. Uh, but thank you all for popping in. And if you haven't already, come join my Facebook group because I'm very active in my Facebook group. Every day I'm telling you something. There's always something. I'm also gonna iron this to make it a bit easier to work with. Bye everybody.